Good morning and welcome to St. John's Liturgy Online. These are our midweek morning prayers recorded for Wednesday, September the 16th. We are in the season of creation. The Anglican Church of Canada has asked us as a church to continue to increase our awareness of our stewardship of the good gift of God's earth. Between the beginning of September, September and Harvest Thanksgiving. So it seems appropriate that as we continue to understand how we care for creation, to draw our attention to a workshop that the diocese is offering a week on Saturday on living without plastic, or just simply wearing your green felt circle a symbol of climate justice. We are on an ember day for Holy Cross, and today we celebrate the Feast of Ninian, a bishop of England in the fifth century who was to preach the gospel in Western Scotland. England was then a province of the Roman Empire and anyone who lived beyond the Roman Empire was considered a barbarian and not worthy to receive the good news of the Christian message. That's where Hadrian's Wall came in. But Ninian decided to go over the wall, or sail around the wall, to look to see what was on the other side, and far from being barbaric, he encountered people who were receptive to the message of mercy and love of God. So he settled in what is now called White House, and his message and his ministry extended down to the Lake District. It's pertinent that we hear of his message today as we think of Ninian surmounting a wall of stone, a barrier of prejudice which divided two opposing cultures. Let us pray. High Sovereign of all creation, grant us grace to follow your holy servant Ninian in surmounting every wall of prejudice, that the glad tidings of Christ may be heard and accepted in every language, culture, and community throughout the whole wide earth. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. For our prayers today, I will be using the Book of Alternative Services and begin on page 47. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us, O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Psalm 72 Give the King your justice, O God, and your righteousness to the King's Son, that he may rule your people righteously and the poor with justice, that the mountains may bring prosperity to the people and the little hills bring righteousness. He shall defend the needy among the people. He shall rescue the poor and crush the oppressor. He shall live as long as the sun and moon endure from one generation to another. He shall come down like rain upon the mown field like showers that water the earth. In his time shall the righteous flourish. There shall be abundance of peace, till the moon shall be no more. He shall rule from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. His foes shall bow down before him, and his enemies lick the dust. The kings of Tarshish and the isle shall pay tribute. The kings of Arabia and Saba offer gifts. All kings shall bow down before him, and all the nations do him service. For he shall deliver the poor who cries out in distress, 
and the oppressed who has no helper. He shall have pity on the lowly and the poor. He shall preserve the lives of the needy. He shall redeem their lives from oppression and violence, and dear shall their blood be in his sight. Long may he live, and may there be given to him gold from Arabia. May prayer be made for him always, and may they bless him all the day long. May there be abundance of grain on the earth, growing thick even on the hilltops. May its fruit flourish like Lebanon, and its grain like grass upon the earth. May his name remain forever and be established as long as the sun endures. May all the nations bless themselves in him and call him blessed. Blessed be the Lord God, the God of Israel, who alone does wondrous deeds. And blessed be his glorious name forever. May the earth be filled with his glory. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, bring our nation and all nations to a sense of justice and equity, that poverty, oppression, and violence may vanish, and all may know peace and plenty. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A reading from Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 10. But how are they to call on one in whom they have not believed? And how are they to believe in one of whom they have never heard? And how are they to hear without someone to proclaim him? And how are they to proclaim him unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. But not of all have obeyed the good news. For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed our message? So faith comes from what is heard, and what is heard comes through the word of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us bring the concerns of our hearts and our lives, our families, our community, and our world before God, praying together, Lord, have mercy. We pray for the whole people of God, for all of our ministries here at St. John's, for all of the churches that are beginning reopening this month, for our bishop, for all the clergy and all the people, that each one of us may be true and faithful servants of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for our families and friends. Let us pray for our children, grandchildren and godchildren and for their teachers and principals and professors and tutorial assistants, that the Lord will give them joy and satisfaction in all that they do. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who are lonely, sick, hungry, persecuted, or ignored, particularly those who are on our minds today, that the Lord will comfort and sustain them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our community, our province, and our country, and for those in positions of leadership, that the Lord will help us all to contribute to its true growth and well-being. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the whole human family, especially praying for peace in the Middle East, for Palestine, for Israel, and for people struggling with fires in 
California. And for research workers seeking a vaccine for the coronavirus. That we may all live together in safety, justice, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. And for all who have passed from this life in faith and obedience, remembering particularly Irene, Bob, let us ask the peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, whose Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, was lifted high upon the cross that he might draw the whole world to himself, may we who rejoice in the mystery of our redemption have grace to take up our cross and follow him who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us at this online midweek service. These services will continue to be offered as we reopen for public worship this coming Sunday. If you intend to participate in person worship, please register online through our website before Friday evening. And also be assured that the Sunday liturgy will also be available online.